What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. As always like to mention for the newcomers we got subscribing to the channel. I'm just a DIY regular guy watching the video like many of you out there just want to have a nice looking lawn. I'm located here in Central North Carolina. We've been pretty successful. We're on a lawn care plan through Allen Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. And uh, yeah, things are looking great right now this time of year, but we've got the heat approaching. So that's why we're gonna talk about things like what we're gonna talk about today. Before we get into that, um, I did wanna make a little note to you guys that are keeping track at home of what I do. Um, I took off my lawn striper from the Honda mower here recently, and I was utterly shocked um, I don't think I've done a mow with that Honda mower without the lawn striper. Number one, it saved me gas. Number two, it was light as a feather. Um, and number three, it performed excellently. Um, I still had stripes in the lawn just with the, the standard Honda mower. And I was like, man, this is, this is crazy. I was not tired after mowing. I didn't realize how much that lawn striper really wore me out cutting my grass, picking that thing up, not dragging it to tear grass and stuff. And so I took it off because it's getting hot and I'm thinking, you know what? It, it's probably just going to stress the grass out, but man, uh, I mowed and it was enjoyable. It was enjoying the mow for the first time. I enjoy the stripes, but even without it, it still put off pretty good stripes. Today we're supposed to have rain. And so I did a mow and we're, we bumped it up to 3.5 inches. And now I think with this, the, the heat, we've been in the mid eighties, we're gonna bump it up to four now. Now's the time to go ahead and go up to four inches. We wanna keep it taller when it's getting under stress under a lot of heat. So with all of that said, we're talking about Hydrotain once again today. If you're new, I suggest you start with the review we did. We took the label, we read the label to you. So if you've read that video, you've seen that video, uh, you know that we need to apply for this new grass we planted in the fall. We need to apply a base layer of nine ounces per thousand square feet to our entire lawn. Uh, Hydrotain is unique though in the fact that if you use a backpack sprayer for this application, you have to pre-wet the lawn per the label. Um, and, and so if you say, Mr. Ferguson, well, I didn't pre-wet my lawn. Mr. Ferguson, I didn't water it in after. Is it going to still work? I have no idea. I'm telling you what the label says, and I'm trying to go by the label to make sure it's applied correctly to my lawn. One of the things that we did read in the previous videos was that if you once you put it on your leaf, leaf blades, you have to go back and water it in because hydrotain is not uh, uh, absorbed through the, the leaf blade foliage. Um, it needs to get into your soil to activate and to work properly. So going back and watering in hydrotain is very crucial. And I would imagine watering or pre-watering your lawn if you use a backpack sprayer is also crucial. We're gonna be using for the first time and probably only time this year, the ortho dialing sprayer because it does not require you to pre-water the lawn if you use a hose-in sprayer because it's putting up enough water to be able to not have to pre-water the lawn. So that's what we're doing today. We're expecting rain, so it's perfect. If I can get out here and do it right before uh, we get some rain and then the rain comes or even while we're doing it, hey, then I don't have to sit here and turn around and throw sprinklers out to water in my hydrotain. So take advice, take advantage. Hopefully that'll happen. We got about a 75% chance today. We're going to focus on the front yard. Uh, my front yard is between 22 and 24 uh, thousand or 2,400 square feet. So just over 2,000 square feet. Um, I'm going to put on the lapel mic. We're going to go over the front yard. I'm going to show you exactly what I do. We'll briefly go over the ortho dialin sprayer because Alan Haynes done a video. I constantly have to go back and watch it, but I'll kind of hit on what I'm doing for the settings I'm using there. So thank you for tuning in today. Let's get this hydrotain down. We want to keep our grass hydrated. We don't want to see dry spots popping up all over the place. This is why we're doing it to prevent to get this thing in the soil. Hydrotain worked for us last year. We wanna put down the good base rate and then we wanna reapply as we see necessary in different spots. So let's get to it. I'll meet you in the front yard and let's get Hydrotain thrown down. All right guys, so sorry, I'm behind the camera right now. We're out here, we've got our bottle, just a little more cleanup work we're gonna do before we get out here and spray. So here's our um, probably little less than half a bottle of Hydrotain as we mentioned. Uh, as we mentioned in the very beginning, just a moment ago for you, for me is a couple minutes ago, uh, you want to pre-wet your lawn, apply the hydrotain, water it in. Three most important steps. This is going to reduce our watering. It is highly important. So I want to quickly go over what I'm going to be doing. So this is the one time I use the ortho dialin sprayer 
because I don't have to sit there and water my lawn, turn around, apply hydrotain, and then turn around and water it again. Well, I'm on city water. It costs a lot of money. I don't have the time. I want to get this done as quickly, but efficiently and correctly as possible. So the ortho dialing sprayer, this thing costs like $10. It's a bunch of plastic. I'm going to link a video up here in the corner somewhere. I believe it's this side. If I point the right way, I can't remember. But Alan Hain goes over it in detail. He explains the math, but the very basics for you is this container holds about 32 ounces worth of product. You do not have to fill it with just concentrate screw it on and go what i do what i did last year is you fill it up let's say we're going to do this is a roughly 2300 square feet in my front yard what i'm going to do is i want to apply nine ounces per thousand i'm going to put in 18 ounces total and so right around 18 ounces is what i'm going to try to cover my front yard with it if i'm a little short that's fine but i'm going to go up to 18 ounces and pour hydrotain in 18 ounces i'm going to fill the rest up with water and I'm going to hook it up to this sprayer. Now up here at the top, if you can see that, we've got a little dial. The best way I can explain this is this ortho puts out, in two minutes, it puts out two gallons of water in two minutes. So basically, if we're talking about a nine ounces per thousand square feet, that's per gallon, we're talking about we should do 18 gallons or 18 ounces of hydrotain in two gallons in two minutes it's literally spray and we're done it's spray and pray you want to sp now obviously we don't have to keep the button held down we're going to spray it the best of our ability but we've got two minutes at two gallons is going to come out for all 18 ounces of that product so the eight ounces here at the top just in my basic brief explanation is that it's going to suck eight ounces per thousand to throw out it's max wide open you can turn this off and spray it and just straight water will come from your ortho if you put it on eight ounces it's now sucking out from the bottle and so whatever you've put in the bottle it's now putting out eight ounces per gallon um, go watch the Alan Hain video for a better explanation that's the best way I can do it there is a way that uh, it breaks down all this math but basically he suggests do 2,000 square feet of your lawn at a time if you do that you know that you're pumping two gallons uh, per two minutes you do 2,000 square feet it makes the math a little easy you put in how much you want per gallon per thousand square feet we're talking about nine ounces we're gonna do nine ounces times two that's 18 we're gonna put 18 fill it with water spray that to it to 2,000 square foot ish section and then move on to another 2,000 square foot section do the same thing so play around with it again with hydrotain again just like the the next products you're not going to damage your lawn you're not talking about changing the color of your lawn uh, we can reapply this you can put too more too much and it's okay so that is what we're that is why we're using the ortho hose and sprayer you can find these at ace hardware at home depot at lowe's you can order them on amazon you can have it within a couple days very useful this is about the only time i use it i'll be using the little bird uh, nozzle area that that fans it out and also I do have a quick connect that I put on mine to quickly connect to my water hose I'm gonna be dragging my side hose out here we're gonna be doing and concentrating on the front yard today as I mentioned uh, whether I film it or not uh, I will likely try to get the rest of my lawn done today if I can if not uh, I will let you know so now that we've explained the ortho, we've got our product it's a matter of getting our hose dragged out to our yard it's time let's do the deed all right, guys, so we're over here um, at the water hose. I'm going to be using this and dragging this out to the front part of my lawn. But again, we're just focusing with you guys here in the video on the front yard, uh, roughly 2,300 square feet. So I did, for the record, I have modified, and this thing is not looking very good. It's a little rusty, but I have modified, as you may see, modified my ortho sprayer you may see some youtubers talk about that so the way i go about it and again check out some other videos on the ortho if you want more clarification we're going to go ahead uh, the quick connects are very useful so i'm going to unhook Whoa! <laughs> so with our quick connect we're going to connect our ortho here and Alan Hain makes mention that, um, and let's turn it on. Let me just go ahead and show you. If we turn it on, we got our eight ounces. If we turn it off, we're not sucking anything from the cord. We are able to just 
spray here. If we do eight ounces, he says set it and forget it. That's the max rate it's going to pull from the container. We are, it is trying to pull from this hose down here, but obviously we're not hooked up. So just water is coming out. And so I'm going to put roughly 20 ounces in here. That's about half this bottle because I've got over 2000. So we're going to try to put roughly about 20 ounces of product in my this may just do the front yard here. There we go. So we got roughly about 18 to 20 in here. More on the line of 19 to 20. So there we go. We're going to put our cap back on. Set this over here. So now that we have our container full of our hydrotain, we're just going to take our, our hose here. And we're just going to fill this up. Now you have to be super careful. And you barely squeeze it. And it takes a little, little, little bit because if you go too hard, you can obviously splatter this all over yourself. So we're just going to fill up our container here full of water up near the top, which we're almost there. It is a little bubbly. The hydrotain is a little bubbly. Um, so we're going to loosen that even more. Try to get some of these bubbles down. And there we go. This is the part that sucks really bad that I hate. There we go. Come on, Ortho. There we go. So we're twisting it from right to left in case you're like, nope, and you don't want to go too hard. I'm going to do it that hard. Let's make our way towards the road. Um, so drag, 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 make sure we got enough hose messing up my yard, but Hey, it's worth it. Um, we want to make sure our grass lives. It's all about making it live. The other thing is kinks. If you don't have a non kink hose, this is not fun, but, uh, let's see if we can set this down. All right. So we got the hose out. So we're going to start again. I'm just going to hit the edges first. But while I'm here, hopefully, don't tell me it's another kink. It is. Oh my goodness. This is why I hate the hose in sprayer, man. Oh, all right. So back to it. We're going to hit our edges. We definitely want to get the hydrotain on the edges. And I can already see this starting to dry out a little here. So I'm glad that rain's coming today. So we're going to hit this side definitely first i'm just going to go ahead hit this really good all across the edges all the way to the road All right, now what we're gonna do, and yeah, I can already see where it's stressing out by the road. You guys may not be able to see it on camera, but it's stressing out by the road. So now I'm just gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and do this bank section and walk backwards towards the bank. Again, this is hydrotain. It's not the end of the world. If we put a little too much here or a little too much there, it's going to be just fine. So there's our edges. Now we're just going to focus on the rest of the lawn. So we're going to go, let's do the same thing, but we're going to do the side of the bank now. So that's how I'm going to approach this. So side of the bank, maybe better just to go this front way up and down like this. Top. There we go. And we're getting close to being already run out. This should cover the entire yard. I'm putting on a little thick and heavy. So, um, so anyways, that's now we're going to hit the ditch and I already need to reload. Look at that. That's, in, that's crazy how fast this stuff comes out. So, I may not be doing it absolutely correctly. 
All right, so we got our bank done. We went a little heavy because we were all the way down to a very little bit of left of hydrotain in my bottle here. So we went a little heavy on the bank, but I'm fine with that. Why? Because the bank is one of the areas that stresses out quickly, the most quickly. And so it needs as much as it can get anyway. So I'm gonna take the lapel off. I'm just gonna hit record, do a time lapse. We're gonna go ahead, fill the bottle back up and we're gonna get, get the rest of the front yard taken care of. And hopefully the rain will come later and wash it in for us. It's hot already. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, we got it down. Um, I went ahead and just applied it everywhere in the lawn. I did do it kind of heavy, each container fill. I think I did a total of four. Um, I filled it up to 18 to 20 ounces. Now that's a little heavy, but that's okay. Uh, because last year I did it, I think a little too light and I had to come back and do it almost like within a week or two. I mean, I had dry spots popping up well after I'd watered in the hydrotain. So I went heavy. So we'll see what happens. So everything is covered. I applied it heavy everywhere. Um, so hydrotain is down. Now it's just a matter of Lord, please send the rain. Let's water it in because I believe that is, you know, as the label states, it's crucial to get it watered into the soil. So there we go. It's a little messy. It takes a little bit to get used to how quick you need to move. That thing is putting out water at a good, good, uh, fan. Uh, you know, it's not like Pete's nozzles. It's a little less, I'd say five feet, but it's putting it out a good distance. So you just got to spray and move and work in that hose is uh, if, if you got a, a kinky hose no pun intended um it's going to be annoying for you so you may need to upgrade your water hose after you know if you don't don't be outside cursing and kicking things now we don't want that but it's applied i'm so happy that it's applied it didn't take as long as i thought so now um, we've got a bunch a line of showers that's over um, in western north carolina and asheville and boone so it's headed this way so hopefully they'll race this way and we don't get you know just a, a little bit we get a good amount of rain to water this in so thank you guys for watching this video on hydrotame hopes it helps somebody that wants to apply guys i uh, appreciate you stopping by watching the video thank you tell the new subs like the video if it's helped you share it with a buddy that maybe has a lawn that's never heard of hydrotane we'll see you on friday with another video topic don't know what it'll be but we'll cover it then god bless you guys we'll see you on friday god bless